In this example, we're going to look at what could be called timer status bits. And we're going to talk about C1 here. What's been added is when the green button would start the timer, we had to hold the green button the entire time. But we paralleled down, just control down arrow and added a C1 bit. A uh, timer could have been any internal coil, but I chose C1. And so whenever the timer starts, C1 will turn on. Then C1 will seal itself and allow it to run. This will run until timer 1 gets done because the timer operates that way that, you know, when we enable it and then we disable it, then it drops the time. So, then I've got a couple other things here. This will tell us when the timer is timing. That could be another C bit used in the program. And this is just going to say when the timer is done. So let's go ahead and, uh, you know, run this and show some status here. Um, so I'm just going to um, go over to the panel and uh, start that up. And we'll go and turn it on status monitor. We have to download this first. And we'll download that into our PLC. And my screen might vary a little bit, but here we see it's running. And now I'm going to go over and uh, operate the push button. And so we turn that on. We see it's starting to time. One, two, three. Now I'm going to go back and let go of the push button. Here we see C1 is still sealed in. We can see that the Y2 is on because we are less than done, but we are enabled. And then when finally we get done, poof, Y1 turned on for just a moment. Now that might be disappointing if you wanted to keep it on, and then we'd have to seal that on as well because we broke it right away. But if this timer was running a counter, it would have seen the uh, transition and would have added the count. So we'll look at that one more time. We're going to um, run the circuit. There we see this rung is enabled. That's enabling this bit. It's counting its time. We can let go of the push button. It's still timing. And we'll see this blink ever so briefly on Y1. We may not see it on the screen, but we would on the control. So the rules apply. Same sort of thing. If it's only going to be on for a moment, we'd have to seal in. But that's a basic timer status bit that can be added to help your logic do certain things. And engineers do this in many different ways. This is just one method of working with that timer.